Hello again. In this video we are going to discuss methods of performing multiple functions with a single click. So let's get started. I created an example project for this video and in the project I wrote a macro to make some things happen so that we can demonstrate some of the related methods. So basically uh, when you click start it will cycle these bits on with a slight delay between each one and then when you hit clear it will go ahead and just turn them off and that's basically all the macros doing. So we have an object called a combo button and um, this is a very very handy object you can do quite a few things uh, with a single click uh, you can set a bit, you can do a delay, set a value to a word register, you can execute a macro, uh, you can bring up a uh, keyboard input, you can do a screen hard copy and save it to either the local memory or an SD card or flash drive. You can acknowledge all the events you can import data. You can do a wait until. In other words, uh, you wait till a certain value is in a certain register before you move on to the next step. Or you can do a global data transfer. Now if you notice, um, we've got two categories here. We've got down and up action. Basically this is when you uh, touch the object and this is basically when you let go of the object. So this is the press down and raise up. And uh, you have the same options in each. Now there are a few limitations if uh, you do a delay or a wait until. You can only do one in each action and uh, that's basically the only uh, restrictions to it. Now if I had recipes in this project uh, there would be a few more options related to that. So uh, let's move on to the example. This first combo button I've created, uh, we do a set bit on. So we are setting on LB0, which incidentally um, starts the macro, uh, turning on the bits. So we're going to wait until uh, bit 105 is on. Or if um, 10 seconds passes by and it doesn't turn on, then it will step on to the next one. Or you could check this box and it will just exit out of the routine at that time when it timed out. So here I'm doing a set bit on LB200. we're going to do a 500 millisecond delay and then we're going to write a value of 100 to LW200. So let me um, recap this. I click this button it turns on, sets this bit LB0 on that starts our macro and we will turn on LB100 then a delay and then LB101, delay LB102, delay LB103, delay LB104, delay. Then when LB105 comes on, LB200 will come on. We will do a 500 millisecond delay. A value of 100 will be written to LW200. So let's go ahead and test that. So first I'm just going to show you the macro operating. So now all bits are on. 
hit clear and uh, we turned them all off so let's test our combo button turn this bit on our macros running we'll wait for this bit to come on that turned on this we had a delay it wrote 100 to here and uh, that was the end of our combo button so uh, here I just copied and pasted and uh, I added a few uh, up actions to it we're gonna wait until bit 109 that's this last one here till it comes on uh, then we're gonna pop up window 17 we're gonna do a uh, 500 millisecond delay and then we're gonna write a value of 0 to LW100 uh, which that is actually my indirect window here I'm using for the uh, macro messages uh, oh it's actually on the common window over here so there that is so uh, let's go ahead and uh, test the other combo button that happened and we got to the end it popped up our message here from our combo 2 button and that's the end of the routine and it's as simple as that so let's move on to another method and of course it's uh, using a macro so go to our project tab and uh, we're going to create a new macro now in this example I'm just going to um, use the single click to turn on some bits but if you're already familiar with our macro structures it shouldn't be any problem for you to recreate anything in a combo button and even more so uh, I'm going to go ahead and define some bits here An array of five and um, I'm just gonna do a, a fill and I want to start at bit zero and I'm gonna write to all five and I'm gonna write a value of one and I'm simply just gonna do a uh, set data and we'll do uh, start at LB 1000 data count of 5 so when we um, execute macro 1 we will fill this array of bits and give each bit a value of 1 or true and then we're going to write that data to LB1000 through LB1004 data length of 5 so I'm going to go ahead and uh, put some bit lamps here and I'm going to do a handy multi copy make 5 of them and I'm going to go ahead and use a uh, function key to execute the macro Let me give that a shape so we can see it And it's as simple as that. 
Now you can use a macro in conjunction with the combo button. Of course you can execute a macro from the combo button within your sequence of events. And it's as easy as that. Thanks for watching and be sure to come back and see more of our instructional videos.